Good morning everyone to a new lesson in using Add as Imagine for remote sensing techniques and in this lesson we will concentrate on the issues how to um, evaluate our classified data we, we which we have produced in the last session. session. So therefore we will just open our um, classified data using the maximum likelihood classifier. Here we go. And in another view, I would like to show you the minimum distance classified image, which is this. And as you can see, there are some differences between these both, but um, just to keep in mind that we have used the same signature set for both our classifications and here we have a look on that so the class names are a little bit difficult to uh, call it urban and suburban due to the point that urban is an anthropogenic feature which is highly highly um depending on on the on the surrounding of a pixel and you cannot classify a pixel as urban or not urban but you can classify it as highly um Betonized. I don't know if it's the right English word for that, but um, if it's highly covered with uh, with houses or not. And so, just to keep in mind that one, um, I would first like to show you how to um, evaluate the class centers. Therefore, you can use evaluate separability, and we will just leave that let that like it is. So, layers per combination is about six. We have um pairs per combination 28 so band one against band number uh, class number one against class number seven and so on and we will also measure using the euclidean distance and we will see have a look on the complete report so here we go this is a report and as you can see we have a signature separability listing so how separate are the class centers and therefore we will have our class names over here then we have the bands one two three four five and seven but in the case of the layer stack it's a sixth band and we have the average and the minimum of um, these classes but here you can uh, of the of the distances but here you can see how distinct are the classes one and two so water and forest have a distance in their centers of 49 units and probably this isn't so much, but you can f distinguish between these both classes very well. But looking at the class combination 7 and 8, which is urban and suburban, you will see that you only have 19 units um, between these both classes. And you can also compare this result using the feature spaces, but therefore we will have to create a feature space layer. and we will use urban and suburban and just the class combination three and four to show you that output to viewer okay yes please and of course we can show our classes in this feature space and in the end we will see that the classes are really near to each other so, so what does it mean that they are near to each other that means that every pixel has a possibility to be part of the one or the other class and so the problem is if the classes are too near to each other then the probability that a, that a, um, a pixel is classified in a wrong class is much more higher so we will indicate it with red I know with violet and as you can see here we have our classes over here there are some pixels in our signature files that are not so um, that are not on the same spot but um, as you can see here we have a big overlapping of these both signatures and so that proves our 
that proves our concept of um, these classes are not very good separate separate from each other. So, but you can also see that, that most of our classes here, class number two against class number four, forest against fields is very good. But all these urban and dense urban classes are really um, near to each other, so we cannot distinguish very good between them. And just to keep in mind that um, that we have some kind of um, yeah that we have some kind of overlap in our maximum likelihood classified image um, as you can see here because this was probably oh no this is a minimum distance file this is a maximum likelihood um, as you can see here this is a water body and it was classified in two or three different classes and in the minimum distance classified image you can see that the water body is really good in shape here but uh, there's some scatter in the class values over here so this is one one part point so you can distinguish or you can sh you you can see the um distances between these um between these uh, centers of classes the other possibility is to use um the contingency table therefore you will choose which is a parametric rule and um, due to the point that the contingency table will produce um, a subset of your classification just using the signatures and um, what does it mean I can show you now um, oh no that was just for the both classes so we have to compute that for every class evaluate contingency minimum distance please 